today we are going to convert customary units of length. In our last lesson we learned some basic facts which are here at the right of the screen. One foot equals 12 inches, one yard equals three feet, one mile equals 5,280 feet. We're going to be using these facts today to help us convert different units of customary measurement. So our first example is three miles equals how many feet? So which of these facts, facts at the right can help us figure that out? This one here at the bottom has miles and feet, so we're going to use that one. So one mile equals 5,280 feet. So we're going to need 5,280. And how many miles do we have? We have three. So 5,280 times three. So when we multiply this, we have zero times three, which is zero. Eight times three, which is 24. Two times three is six, plus two is eight. And five times three is 15. So we get 15,840. But 15,840 what? Feet. So we write that up top in our answer. 3 miles equals 15,840 feet. For our second example, we're going to change 3 yards into inches. As I look at my facts, I don't have one that has both yards and inches. So this one has yards, that one has inches. But we don't have a fact that goes from yards to inches. So we're going to have to use two of our facts to figure out a new fact. So let's start with our yards. So if we have one yard, and I break that into three feet, and then I can take each of those feet and turn them into inches. So each foot has 12 inches. So if we add up all of our inches, we have 12 plus 12 plus 12, or 12 times 3. That's going to equal 36 inches. So now we've created a new fact. One yard equals 36 inches. So I'm going to add this fact to our little box in the top corner. So there it is at the bottom. One yard equals 36 inches. Now that we know this, we can figure out our problem. So we have three yards, and there are 36 inches in each yard. So 36 times 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So we get 108 inches. So 3 yards equals 108 inches. I'm going to do another example so we can get an example of one of each of these. This one's a little trickier because I have a mixed number. I have four and a half feet, and I want to turn those into inches. So I'm going to break apart our mixed number. So I'm going to use just the four feet for now. I'm going to use our fact over here at the top, one foot equals 12 inches. So if I have 4 feet times 12 inches, 12 times 4 is 48. But that's just our 4 feet, we have 4 and a half feet. So I need to figure out this half of a foot. So if 1 foot is 12 inches, and we have half of 12, that's going to equal 6 more inches. And 48 plus 6 equals 54. So four and a half feet equals 54 inches. And one more example. Actually, let's have let's have you do this one. This one's pretty easy. So 10 yards equals how many feet? So first of all, we want to figure out which of our basic facts will help us in solving this. So do we have one that has both yards and feet in it? We do. So one yard equals three feet. 
So every one of those yards is going to have 3 feet. So what multiplication problem can you use to help convert? 10 times 3, which equals 30. Okay, I want you to try two more with me. 7 feet equals how many inches? First of all, again, we want to see which of these basic facts will help us. So this one has feet and inches, so 1 foot equals 12 inches. And we have 7 feet, so that's going to be 12 times 7. I'll give you a second to figure out what 12 times 7 is, and then you can check to see if you got it right. Okay, it's 84. One last one to do with me, and then I'll give you your four problems. Three yards equals how many feet? So we're going to use this one. So just be three times three, because three feet equals a yard, and we have three yards, so three times three, and that equals nine. So three yards equals nine feet. Okay, I think you're ready for your four problems. If you need to go back and watch any of these examples again, go ahead. If not, continue. So problem number one. Five yards equals how many inches? Go ahead and pause if you need to, and then push play when you're ready for number two. Number two. Five miles equals how many feet? Number three, six yards equals how many feet? And last of all, number four, six and a half feet equals how many inches? Show me these four problems tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your day.